In this video, we'll go over how to control lines below grade. Taking a look at this cross-section view, you'll notice that we're seeing these dashed pink lines. These lines indicate that these objects like my stem walls, footings, and other items are below grade. However, these line options are not enabled by default. We have to enable them within the camera view options. And we'll do so by going to Edit Active View. It's the icon up here on the toolbar that looks like a pencil over a sheet of paper. Opening my cross-section elevation specification, we'll see that on the left-hand side, there's a panel called Below Grade. Here you'll see that I've overridden the line color to a bright pink, and I'm using a dashed line style. Down below we'll see that we can set this to affect lines that are below the terrain perimeter, or we can also specify an absolute height. Lastly, taking a look at affected object types, 3D solids, doors and exterior walls, footings, piers, slabs, symbols that insert into terrain, walls and windows are all object types that will be highlighted by these below grade line settings. Just like with most other camera options, we can go to the default settings, camera tools, find our cross-section elevation camera defaults, and in that below grade panel, we can set up the same options that we were looking at before, but this time as a default for all new cross-section elevation cameras. It's important to keep in mind that the settings in the below grade panel are not active defaults, which means that existing cameras will not automatically update to these options. These settings will only apply to new cameras created with the tool. One thing you may have noticed is that these below grade lines show regardless of my terrain. But if I go ahead and turn it on, we'll see that these lines are overriding these objects correctly, just below the terrain. These below grade line options are not only available in a cross-section camera, but also a 3D camera. If I go to, let's say, a perspective full overview. Now, we're not gonna see something immediately here. That's just because we've only set those below grade line settings up in the cross-section camera and not this one. Also, the below grade line settings are only going to be available in the vector view rendering technique or the technical illustration rendering technique. Let's take a look at both. But before we do that, let's go ahead and make sure that we configure those below grade line settings in this camera. And just as we did before, I'll go to Edit Active View. I'll go to Below Grade. And let's use the same options that we were using before. Uh, bright pink color, dashed lines, and I'll set it to the terrain perimeter. Now that we've enabled the below grade line, let's go ahead and switch over to vector view. I'll click rendering techniques up here in the toolbar, then vector view on the left, and there we have it. Let's go ahead and switch it over to technical illustration. Looks pretty good. Now the lines are still pink, but they're solid, not dashed. And that's because in a technical illustration view, all lines are going to be solid, no dashed lines. I mentioned before that in a camera tool's default, when we specify those below grade settings, it's not going to apply to existing cameras, only the new ones. However, if you have a collection of existing cameras that you'd like to apply the same below grade settings to, we can go over here to the project browser. And underneath your plan, there's gonna be a cross sections and a cameras folder. I'll go ahead and pick cross sections, and you'll see I have four cross sections here. If I hold shift, left click the topmost option, still holding shift, click on the bottommost option. I can go ahead and right click any of these cameras, edit all views, and then I can go to below grade and set these below grade line settings for all four cameras. And when we highlight each camera, we can see the results in the preview down below.